It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead Universe. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at some brand new updates and news for The Walking Dead spin-offs, the Daryl spin-off and the Maggie and Negan spin-off. Now, you may be asking, what about Carol? Well, there's been a lot of very interesting and kind of shocking news about that, which we're gonna cover. I actually didn't know about most of the stuff that we're gonna talk about until yesterday. Someone brought it up in the live stream that we had. I wasn't gonna initially do a video on this, but I checked around, there were a lot of articles on this. So I decided to just do a video where I not only read the articles with you guys to kind of understand what's going on, but also share my thoughts and opinions about what's happening these days with The Walking Dead spinoffs. So the topics we're going to cover are Daryl Dixon going to France for the spinoff, possibly encountering fast zombies, Melissa McBride dropping out of the spinoff with Norman Reedus, and also the Maggie and Negan spinoff filming in New York in the summer. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break it all down. <music> All right, as always, before we jump into this, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's waste no more time and dive right into it. So first thing I wanna talk about is the more straightforward news, which is the Negan and Maggie spinoff. So the Negan and Maggie spinoff, which features Lauren Cohan as Maggie and Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Negan, is still in good shape. And we obviously had a poster for it, there was a name for it, Isle of the Dead, and we do know now that they will begin filming in the summer in New York. Obviously, there was teases of the setting of that spinoff being in New York based on the poster, but now with this news that they're going to start filming in New York, that's pretty much confirmation. They are, in fact, going to be in Manhattan, New York. Now, as far as the story, we don't know anything, but... I think we're safe to assume at this point that the story that takes them to New York could possibly be related to finding Rick Grimes. Now, they could obviously not have the story be exclusively about Rick. They could have them going on a journey for some reason to New York, but obviously it's very unlikely that they're not gonna encounter any Civic Republic military personnel and possibly hints about Rick himself. So at this point, I'm leaning more towards the Negan and Maggie spinoff, Isle of the Dead, having something to do with Rick and the CRM, even if it's not directly related. Even if Maggie and Negan don't go on the journey specifically looking for Rick, I think they're gonna either encounter CRM or they're gonna learn a bit about what could have happened to Rick. Now with the straightforward one out of the way, let's dive into the complicated one, which is the Daryl spinoff. Obviously at this point, it's not the Daryl and Carol spinoff anymore, it's just the Daryl spinoff. Before we talk about what happened with the Carol situation, let's talk about what we know about this spinoff so far. We know that the Daryl spinoff is not gonna be in the United States. It's going to be in Europe. France specifically, which is extremely interesting. I mean, we know based on the post credit scene of the series finale of The Walking Dead World Beyond, there are fast walkers in France, which means that it's extremely likely that Daryl is going to encounter fast zombies in France. There's a lot of very interesting stuff going on there. Obviously, this is very intriguing. I mean, I myself wasn't as intrigued about the Daryl and Carol spinoff, especially if it was going to be in the United States again, but a Daryl spinoff in France with fast zombies intrigues me. Not only do we have a new environment, Europe, we have a possibility that Daryl is going to be searching for Rick because obviously there was a lot of hints that CRM have bases in Europe, specifically in France. So that's definitely intriguing. And also 
With the fast zombies, we add a layer of something we've never seen before in the Walking Dead universe. So all of that makes this spin-off extremely intriguing. I personally was more intrigued about the Negan and Maggie spin-off in New York, but now knowing that Daryl is going to France and possibly connecting that to the Rick stuff and also bringing in the fast zombies, I'm more intrigued about the Daryl spin-off. Not saying that I wouldn't have been as interested if Carol was in fact with Daryl in France. It wouldn't have made a difference for me. It's not even a character thing. The thing that really makes the difference is a new environment, potential connections to Rick, and the fast zombies aspect. Now with that, let's talk about what happened with Carol. Now before we even get there, the fact that we know Carol is not going to be going with Daryl to this spinoff is not really an indication of anything. Like, it doesn't mean that Carol is gonna die. Carol could obviously stay behind at either Commonwealth or wherever they end up being at at the end of the series. So the fact that Carol is not going with Daryl doesn't mean anything. But one thing I do want to say is this explains why we never got any concrete details about this spinoff earlier. We had no poster, we had no title, we still don't, but I mean, we never got anything. The reason was because they were still negotiating with Melissa McBride, who plays Carol, and obviously their negotiations fell apart at the end, and it didn't quite happen. So now that they knew that they can't get Melissa McBride on board, but Norman Reedus is obviously on board, they finally gave us some concrete details, which is the setting being in Europe thing. Obviously, we still need more. We need like a title. We need a poster. But I think they were probably waiting until they finalized the situation with Melissa McBride before they move on to that. So I do expect that we're going to hear a bit more about this spinoff in the near future. With that said, let's look at the articles. So this first one is from TV Line. It reads, Walking Dead Shocker, Melissa McBride exits Daryl and Carol centric spinoff. AMC's in the works Walking Dead spinoff centered on Norman Reedus, Daryl, and Melissa McBride's Carol is undergoing a major change. Sources confirm to TV Line exclusively, Melissa McBride will no longer be involved in the offshoot. Instead, the new series will focus on Daryl. Initial buzz suggested the decision was a creative one, although an AMC rep maintains it was about logistics. Melissa McBride has given life to one of the most interesting, real, human, and popular characters in The Walking Dead universe, a network spokesman said in a statement to TV Line. Unfortunately, she's no longer able to participate in the previously announced spin-off on the Daryl Dixon and Carol Pelletier characters which will be set and filmed in Europe this summer and premieres next year. Relocating to Europe became logistically untenable for Melissa McBride at this time. We know fans will be disappointed by this news, but the Walking Dead universe continues to grow and expand in interesting ways and we very much hope to see Carol again in the near future. So a few things based on that article. One, obviously, this wasn't a creative decision. It was a logistics decision. Melissa McBride could not commit to relocating to Europe to film for this series. So, obviously, if the actress doesn't want to move, possibly because of family commitments, there isn't really anything that the crew could have done to change the situation. The only way to change it would have been to not have the show be in Europe, and be in the United States instead, I don't think anyone would have wanted that. Even Melissa McBride, I'm sure, wouldn't have wanted that. So that's part one. Part two of it is that they're gonna film in the summer, just like the Maggie and Negan spinoff. Third part of it is they do hint that we may see Carol in the future. So even though she's not in that spinoff, it doesn't mean that she's gonna die. It's possible that she's gonna return in another spinoff. I mean, this goes back to what I talked about on a previous video. In my chat with Carrie Payton, who plays King Ezekiel during an expo a couple of days ago, he did tell me that he anticipates that there's going to be a lot more spin-offs coming. 
So as much as people may take this as Carol is going to die, it's probably not the case and that Carol is probably going to come back in a spinoff, maybe a new spinoff with someone else or a spinoff on her own, which is obviously going to be in the United States. The next article we're going to go through is The Hollywood Reporter. The title of this article is Walking That Star, Melissa McBride Exits Spinoff Series. The actress who has played Carol since the start of the zombie drama will no longer star opposite Norman Reedus in the planned offshoot set for 2023. AMC's Carol and Daryl Walking Dead spinoffs just lost its leading lady. Original Walking Dead star Melissa McBride has departed the untitled spinoff set to follow her character alongside frequent on-screen favorite Norman Reedus' Daryl. And then there's a quote which is the exact same quote that we just read in the other article so I'm not gonna read that again. The actress has played Carol since she joined the Walking Dead pilot with a returning role in season one. The untitled spinoff was picked up in September 2020 with details including the filming location yet to be worked out. Sources say McBride, upon learning of the Europe filming location, decided against filming abroad. Walking Dead flagship series has filmed in Atlanta for the past decade. Plus, sources say other opportunities for McBride and Carol are being discussed. This goes back to what I said. Just because she's not going to be in that spinoff doesn't mean that she's going to die or not get a spinoff on her own or something like that. Now, I'm not going to go through the rest of the article. You can go read it yourself if you're interested. I'm going to go through two more articles. This one is from IGN. The Walking Dead's Daryl Carroll spinoff loses Carol. Melissa McBride won't be playing Carol Pelletier after all in the planned Walking Dead spinoff. Featuring Norman Reedus, TV Line reports, instead that was once a Carol Daryl spinoff will simply be a Daryl spinoff. Universal released the following statement in response to McBride's departure. And then here's the quote again, which I'm not going to read again. Over the course of The Walking Dead's 11 seasons, there have been a number of cast members who have exited the show. Currently, Norman Reedus and McBride, who play Daryl and Carol respectively, are the only members remaining from the show's original season 1 cast. The spin-off, announced in September of 2020, is one of several in the works. Obviously, several is the key word here. That's something I mentioned when I was talking about what Carrie Payton told me. Besides the Carol and Daryl centric one, a spin-off following Negan and Maggie is also in development. In it, the duo will head to the Big Apple. Besides that, an anthology series titled Tales of the Walking Dead is also heading to AMC and will premiere this summer. If you're disappointed in the news of McBride's exit, you'll be able to catch her and read us as they finish up the final season's third arc when it premieres sometime in the future. The next article is ET Canada. Walking Dead spinoff loses one half of its leads. AMC just lost one half of its Walking Dead spinoff. The network is working on a spinoff anchored by fan favorite characters Carol Pelletier McBride and Daryl Dixon Norman Reedus. It was revealed on Wednesday that McBride was leaving the project. And then there's the quote again, which I won't read. Melissa has been part of the Walking Dead television universe since the show's pilot. The spin-off starring her and Reedus was picked up in September 2021. She reportedly decided against filming abroad upon learning that production was taking place in Europe. And that's pretty much it. Nothing new there. But who knows? What we might end up seeing is Morgan exit fear and join forces with Carol in a spin-off. So it'll be a Carol and Morgan spin-off in a way. We know those two characters also have a history together. So that could definitely be something that they might be planning to do. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to discuss in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.